Hi all, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your WordPress websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. Elementor version 2.8 is out in beta and I've installed it on my website and I'll walk you through all the changes and major updates in this video. So let's see what's new in Elementor 2.8. Some of them are for the free version of Elementor and only one or two are the new changes in the pro version of Elementor. I'll point them out in this video. Anyway, let's get into it. The first biggest change is the new color picker. Well, previously you had to click on the hamburger icon and adjust the color palettes. Now you don't have the color palettes in here. All you have is the default colors. So you can adjust your primary, secondary and text colors. Now when you click on anything under style tab, anything with a color, when you click on it, you now see a new color palette in which you can add as many colors as you want. All you need to do is to choose the color and click on this plus button and just like that it's added to the palette and there's no limit to how many colors you can add. So you have your colors on the go. This is one of the heavily requested features and Elementor implemented it. So once you have the colors that you want, you can simply add them by clicking on this and they will be acro available across all your widgets. So now, just now I have adjusted the colors in my accordion widget. I'll update it. I'll click on the button widget. I'll click on background color and I now see all the picked colors. So just like that, I can pick all the colors that I have. And not just that, you can also copy and paste color values in RGBA or hex code. And this slider is for transparency and this slider changes different color values across various hues. So you can pick the hue you want, click on the color and if you're happy with the color that you have, you can simply adjust that and click to add it to the color palette. So this is one of my favorite new features and it's coming in Elementor 2.8. And the second biggest feature is the dark mode in Elementor interface. So now you can pick the UI theme that you want you can either pick light or dark and I particularly think dark mode looks really cool similar to what you see on iOS 13 on iPhones. So this is really cool all the controls and this just adds up to user experience and I think this is one of the coolest changes not necessarily groundbreaking but the dark mode is really cool and not just that in preferences you can also select auto detect so it will change the interface based on the time or maybe your OS setting. Maybe if you're working with Mac OS or maybe Windows, it will detect somehow. I don't know how it's going to do it, but it's going to detect it and change the interface to light or dark based on how you work. And I'm personally going to use dark mode across my workflow. This is one of the coolest features. Again, it's here in Elementor 2.8. And third new feature is better responsive controls. So when you hide an element on various devices, it's clearly visible no matter if you minimize the side panel or have it. For instance, I'm right now in my desktop view. So let's say I hide this button on desktop. You can now see that the button is grayed out on desktop and when I change it to tablet view, it's now normal, which means you don't need to close the side panel to see which elements are hidden it's now there by default and it's the default behavior. I think it should be completely hidden. Maybe it's in beta. Don't know, but it's certainly grayed out and you can clearly point that this particular element is hidden in this particular device. And fourth new tweak is when you click on this hamburger icon and under this preferences, you can adjust editing handles, whether the editing handles should appear. So these are the editing handles that used to be there by default in Elementor. Now you can change the behavior without going to backend. Also you can enable or disable lightbox right from within your Elementor workflow. So those are couple of changes added in 2.8. And the next big feature, well this is a feature that I cannot show. The Elementor added compatibility with WordPress 5.3. Now you shouldn't experience any crashes or whatsoever errors with Elementor while working on WordPress 5.3. WordPress came out with 5.3 just a week ago, I guess. Now Elementor should work seamlessly with WordPress 5.3 and that's really neat. 
they're optimizing compatibility ensure smooth workflow and the next feature is dynamic controls in alert widget we already made a video on alert widget and how it can be used in different ways i'll leave a link to that in the description now within alert widget you have dynamic options so the title can be linked to a dynamic field and also the description can be linked to a dynamic field these can be anything from your post title to your custom field so that's really neat this was a feature requested by someone on github and elementor implemented it in 2.8 and this is a feature exclusive to 2.8 pro since dynamic options are only available in the pro version i think this is the only feature which is exclusive to the pro version rest all features are there in the free version as well then there are few minor tweaks such as this one so custom positioning is now renamed to positioning and also the responsive controls are vertical instead of horizontal so now you can click on tablet to change all the options to tablet view just like that and they expand above and below the particular control they also made changes so that the background video option or the video widget will auto play on ios devices it was a os level restriction now elementor have found a workaround and now the auto play video or the video widget will work perfectly fine so the video will even play in the background on ios devices and i think this is really cool so that's a quick overview of 2.8 i'll let you know if there are any more changes that's 2.8 in a nutshell they may add new features real soon let's see but that's all you're going to get in elementor version 2.8 and like i said the only feature which is exclusive to the pro version is dynamic options in the alert widget and this positioning thing that's it for now that's all the new features in elementor 2.8 there's a lot of content coming on elementor in general stay tuned subscribe to design school by wp algorithm if you didn't already so that you don't miss out on any new updates we'll also be building our own widgets using unlimited elements add-on so that's it for now catch you in the next video peace